does looking at a graph like this scare you? Uh, do you hate spending hours staring at spreadsheets and wondering what the heck is going on? Personally, I don't. I like spreadsheets and I love data, but hey, if that's you, I'm going to show you a quick way on how you can use Anthropics Claude to be your new best friend when it comes to data analysis. All right, so let's dive in and take a look. But if you're new here, let me tell you what this is and what's going on. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. This is our AI in five. We do this just about every single day, giving you a tip, trick, or tutorial to grow your business with generative AI. So enough of that. Let's dive in and talk about what we're actually doing here. So what we have is a lot of data from Google Search Console. So uh, I've actually uh, put these into a spreadsheet just so it's a little cleaner. I mean, but we're talking about, and this isn't all of our you know website data for everyday AI. This is just some terms that I'm focusing on. But I mean, we're talking about hundreds of thousands of data points here. This would take anyone like such a long time. So uh, we are looking at both terms and we are looking at pages, so a ton of data. So let's jump in and see if Claude can help us. So uh, what a lot of people, well, some people do know this, but a lot of people don't know that uh, Claude can analyze data, right? So uh, I'm not gonna focus on the prompt here. You know, if you really want it, let me know in the comments, but this probably isn't uh, relevant for a lot of people, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna upload uh, first a CSV file. So you cannot upload uh, XLS, you know, Excel files uh, into Claude, but you can upload CSV files. So all I'm saying right here, again, this isn't, uh, you know, any prompting trick, but um, I am telling Claude a little bit about what this sheet contains. You don't even have to do that. You could just upload, uh, you know, a spreadsheet and be like, tell me what this is, right? Because uh, maybe unlike, you know, unlike myself, maybe you don't even want to know what all this data is or what it means. So uh, I am giving a little bit of context to Claude just to make it a little faster. And all I'm saying is, you know, here's a bunch of data, um, you know, and I'm telling it it's, you know, here's, it's from this three months versus, uh, this month, uh, these three months. So it's a comparison, uh, of data over time. So even the best data, uh, analysts, consultants, et cetera, when they're looking at data, it takes a human, a lot of time, uh, to start finding trends, right? Guess what? Large language models can do it much, much quicker. And a lot of times, are they better at data analysis than the best humans? I would say, if you know what you're doing. Absolutely. Because already I've been talking at you for like five minutes or not even like, like 60 seconds since I hit the, the enter button. And already we have 10 very in-depth insights, right? Um, things that maybe I don't even know. And I probably spend, you know, I, I go into Google search council fairly regularly. Um, so maybe this is something I should even be doing more. Right. Um, so it, it's showing me right here. There's a rising interest in, you, you know, some of our, uh, articles, chat GPT versus paid, uh, increasing curiosity about chat GPT's human-like responses. So it's finding these trends that are happening on the website, right? It's saying, Oh, all of a sudden our website's getting, uh, impressions and clicks for Claude, Gemini, and other comparisons to ChatGPT. So maybe I should be making more content or optimizing that content on our website because more and more people are searching for this. So this is a great, uh, you, you know, way already. I'm finding out some uh, some data that I didn't even know, even though I do spend a lot of time in here. So next, I'm going to go ahead and do something similar, right? So I'm uh, again, don't don't worry about the prompt. Um, but I'm essentially uploading now the same thing, but uh, the first one was for terms. So for specific terms, right? So chat GPT versus paid. So now I'm doing something for pages. All right. So stick with me. Uh, hopefully it'll make sense here in the end. So I'm going to do this exact same thing. And you know what, this time I'm going to shut up and let's just focus on how quick Claude three Opus is. Uh, I, I should mention this is with the paid version of Claude three and the most powerful model, which is Opus. So there's Haiku, Sonnet and Opus. Opus. So Opus is the most powerful and it is the fastest. And you'll see already, it is already spitting it out. And again, y'all, we're talking about uh, probably more than 10,000 data points here. There's a lot of data, you know, it, at least, uh, I would say at least, you know, five to 20,000, I should have counted, but uh, it's a lot of data, right? This is a lot. So uh, already uh, it's, Claude is already spitting all of this out, right? Um, and it's giving me a lot of insights that I didn't know, right? Um, and, and it's also making these um, connections uh, between 
you, you know, trends over time, right? So something that was happening on my website five months ago versus something that was happening on my website two months ago. Again, our website has hundreds of pages. We might actually have, now that I think about it, maybe 500 pages on our website. This is a lot of data that it's going through, right? This is, I'm not even going to have time. Um, you know, but even look at this steady performance of the Amazon Q competitor article. I didn't even know that was getting any compression, uh, impressions, right? Uh, so interesting, had no clues, right? So I'm going to go through and check that out later, but now what I'm going to do hopefully is something even better. All right. So it's done. It's already finished that comparison. So now I'm just putting in a prompt and again, don't worry about the prompting here. This isn't a prompting course. Uh, although we do have that for free, our prime prompt polish. So. If you're still listening, just type PPP in the comments. I'll send it to you. Uh, or just go sign up for our newsletter and reply to the newsletter with PPP. That's even better. All right. So all I'm saying now is based on both of these spreadsheets, please think analytically to start connecting the dots between the trends with the terms and the trends with the pages. Again, please avoid very obvious observations and instead think critically step-by-step step to unearth the opportunities that even expert data analysts might miss. Think of the easiest wins, the biggest gains to be had, potential problems I may not be seeing, et cetera, right? Um, and probably by the time, yeah, it's already probably almost done. Um, so here we go. So now it's combining insights that it found from going over tens of thousands of data points from separate spreadsheets, right? Things that I didn't even know, right? And the good thing now is, geez, it's already, it's already done. That was so fast. So now I can, you know, have a conversation. So I could just say based on both of these spreadsheets and trends you identified, please give me and my team an SEO checklist of the first, um, you know, 10 things we should address in terms of optimizing pages and terms specifically. I hate, I, I hate typing live cause I'm like this, right? I, I, I don't have this, uh, this, this, uh, perfect setup, uh, specifically focusing on trends. And I'm going to say, either losing a lot of traffic impressions or opportunities, which is uh, suddenly gaining, All right? So suddenly gaining impressions and clicks. All right. So now the good thing is, and that people don't realize is now I can just have an ongoing conversation with Claude because it has a pretty good memory, right? Um, which is great. So now it's giving me, uh, you know, pretty, pretty specific guides and I'm already, I'm already uh, noticing that it's not quite specific enough. So I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say, this is great. I'm going to say, please make this more specific, giving me a page by page and term by term breakdown on what we should be prioritizing. I'm going to say, please um, reply with ultra specific suggestions that are actionable. And I'm going to say, please do not reply with generic uh, strategies. All right. So let's see if that improves our output here. I know this is AI in five sometimes while well, I'm also just curious, you know, if we can, uh, you know, put in one or two prompts and start to get something uh, a little more specific. So, uh, the thing that I like about, uh, Claude here is this is actually, you, you, you wouldn't be able to tell because in chat GPT, they make the links blue. I wish Claude would do that. So, Hey, Anthropic, that's such an easy, um, you know, UI UX thing that you should probably improve because a lot of people don't know, or maybe don't understand that you can actually click on this. It just looks like it's bold, but no, that is a link you can click. So now it's giving me a breakdown. I love this page by page of what to do, right? Like this is great. So here it's saying, add a new section comparing the specific features of the free versus page versions using the terms chat GPT premium versus free and chat GPT pro versus free. This is amazing, right? If I would have had to hire an, an SEO consultant, which I know is weird, it's actually what we do or have done, you know, for years for companies, you don't need to. You don't need to hire us. You don't need to hire an expensive SEO consultant, at least to get a taste of where you should be focusing. Because just like this, I guarantee you could go give someone, you know, $2,000 for an SEO audit. And there's a good chance they might not even give you this level of detail. 
All right. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if it was. Do you want me to do a comparison of uh, data analysts, uh, data analysis in ChatGPT versus Claude? If so, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for that free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in five or 10. Thanks.